Well, good evening to you. Hot weather today. Partly cloudy skies have developed this afternoon with the heating of the day. And with a look outside, we are at 93 degrees currently. That has been the high so far today with wind out of the south southwest at 9. Humidity is a moderate. Hasn't been quite as muggy just yet, although that looks to increase a little bit more as we head through the evening hours. We've seen some increase in humidity and Temperatures range from about 90 to 95, a little cooler at Burlington. It's been running on the cooler side at that observation point, and it doesn't really match the other numbers around it. Suspect it's actually in the low 90s in Coffee County as well. 95 for Manhattan, 94 at Junction City, and you factor in the humidity, it feels like 96 degrees at Manhattan. So most of these numbers are at or maybe a degree or so higher than the actual air temperature for the heat index. That does look to be changing a little bit as south breezes over the well, the course of not only today, but tonight, tomorrow as well, that's going to gradually bring in some slightly higher humidity. And you'll see this on future track humidity, a moderate to high end humidity here as we start to get a little muggy during the evening hours. May break a little bit for a while tonight, not fully, just a little bit, but already starting to see that increase tomorrow. Look at this widespread, moderately high humidity. We'll call it muggy for tomorrow. Not oppressive, but muggy as we head through the daytime Wednesday. So how humid it'll feel to you. Again, today we're kind of moderately humid. Tomorrow, muggy. And it looks like we may fall just shy of that oppressive range. We thought maybe that might be the case for uh, Wednesday. I think we'll be lucky enough that we may not fall into that highest category. That's the good side of things. Trying to put a positive spin on it. Sky's clear across most of the area other than a dotting of a few clouds. Future track shows partly cloudy skies tonight and for the daytime tomorrow. Over northern Missouri, it does look like a complex of showers and storms will drop south out of Iowa. The question will be how far north, uh, how far into our northeastern counties this will spread. If it spreads westward, may get a few clouds. Looks like a gust of wind may come through the area during the course of the day tomorrow. Can't rule out a stray shower firing along that, but I think at this point that chance is awfully low until we head into the late overnight hours. Because this will be well after midnight, it's really going to be hitting Thursday morning. So we'll keep the rain out of the forecast for Wednesday, thinking that this complex of showers and storms will move in late Wednesday night, Thursday, moving through the area, and then additional showers and storms will fire up later Thursday night into Friday. Tonight, down to 73, a mostly clear, humid night. Tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. At this point, it looks like most of the area will stay dry through the daytime. It'll hit a high near 95. Heat index in the upper 90s to near 100 tomorrow. And then scattered storms, Early Thursday and then returning Thursday night into Friday and Saturday, storms will be likely, and that should hold temperatures down a little bit into the low 80s for Friday and Saturday for highs. And that scattering of storms will continue. This time of year, we get scattered thunderstorms. We get some localized heavy rainfall as well, and that certainly looks to be the case. But we also get a beautiful view of the Milky Way. Look at that gorgeous photo from Gary Hofsummer at Overbrook. You know, lots of uh, warmth and recent rainfall. Time to get that lawn mowed. If you've got time this evening, it will be hot and dry. Tomorrow, hot and humid. And it does look like a pretty good uh, weather as well as we head into the um, into the evening hours for your Wednesday. But it looks like Thursday, I will have some storms around as well with a scattering. We'll yellow light that one as well. You know, with all this recent rain, it may come as no surprise, but a climate report released by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration shows that this May was the wettest month in U.S. history. Heavy rainfall and even some mountain snows out west accumulated up to 200 trillion gallons of water in the country. And the central part of the U.S. was the area, obviously, that was hardest hit. According to the report, the overall national monthly rain average hit 4.36 inches nationally. That beats the previous record of 4.29 inches that was set in October of 2009. Texas, Oklahoma, and even parts of Kansas were the hardest hit. And we know that all so well, of course, yeah. last month. That 4.36 sounds like not too much. We <laughs> had closer to uh, 10 to 14 across the area in some places, so uh, definitely a lot of rain. All right. Thanks, Matt.